Like I say, every time I go shopping for makeup or anything like that, you can never have too much makeup, says no one ever. Okay. <laughs> channel if you are new to my channel what's up my name is marisa if you are part of the fam welcome back so today's video is going to be a sephora haul so if you guys want to see make sure you guys stay tuned but before you go you already know why because i say this in every video make sure you guys thumbs up this video hit that subscribe button and stay tuned all right guys so welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be about a haul that i did at sephora so let's just dive in while you're already here if you guys love anything about beauty all things girly hair makeup skincare smell good girl this is the place to be okay mi casa es su casa make sure you guys hit that subscribe button like i say every time i go shopping for makeup or anything like that you can never have too much makeup says no one ever okay all right so i'm just gonna be pulling things out of this candy dandy box so i have been always wanting to try glow recipes the watermelon do drops um i've seen so many people talk about this product um they use it for a primer they use it for um skincare after they um wash their face of course but this is what it looks like um i don't know if you can smell the little pump applicator Let me see what the consistency of it is. Okay, so it's kind of like a serum based um, moisturizer. I cannot wait to use that. I normally just go in um, after I wash my face. Ooh, it smells so good. I love watermelon. I usually go in with, um, after I wash my face, I go in with a toner and then my moisturizer. So I cannot wait to use this for those of you guys who are new to my channel i am a hairstylist license and a makeup artist so although i would have had on some makeup in this i just did a facial on my skin so i'm just kind of giving my skin some time to just breathe so yeah all right so next i got the sephora what is this number 50 brush i've heard great things about this brush um, the 50 brush, the brush that I use is, let me grab that for you guys really quick. The powder brush that I have always used is my MAC 150 brush. I have used it since I worked at MAC and I use this on all my clients and myself. So, um, this pretty much stays in my kit. Um, I wanted to try another brush for myself. When I saw this one, I was like, okay, we we might be working with something. Let me open it up so we can do a comparison. Okay, so here is the comparisons to the 150 and the 50 brush. So this one's a lot more fanned out than this one. Um, oh my gosh, this is so soft. Ooh, I cannot wait to use this one. This one's very soft. So I wonder if it picks up product pretty good. So I cannot wait to use this. All right, so as far as other tools that I got, I love a beauty blender. I love a blending sponge. So I got the Sephora Strawberries and Cream. This, These little beauty blender sponges have been sold out so long. So when I finally was able to snag this, I put it right on in my cart and checked out right in with it. But, um... I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah. So they're just two little small sponges to apply. Um, they're kind of small. I think you can use these all over the face. So I was, um, I had saw some pretty good reviews about this. So I was kind of glad to finally get my hands on it as well. Next, I got the House Labs. This is the Triclone skin tech foundation i've seen so many different reviews on this foundation out here um house labs is by lady gaga now i got the shade 460 medium deep warm um if you are my foundation twin in mac studio fix fluid i wear well i mix <laughs> nc50 and nw45 if you wear pat mcgrath i wear number 26 if you wear nars sheer glow i am macau so 
I think I kind of did a good skin match on this one. I have not tried this one out yet. I cannot wait to try it out. Um, I know this is a, I think a medium coverage. So um, this is what the bottle looks like. Um, I do hope that this is my foundation shade. Um, I think it is based on when I did the matching of the skin on Sephora's website. It did match me with this actual shade, so I cannot wait to wear this one. I always love to bronze, and I heard a lot of things about this Rare Beauty Warm Wishes Stick Bronzer, and I got the shade Full of Life. One thing I'll say about Rare Beauty's um, bronzers, they don't really have a, a really wide range when it comes to women of color. Um, I only saw two colors. This one looks more closer to my skin tone, more of for a bronzer. Um, I cannot wait to see how it applies on the skin. Again, I have not been in the store to try this one on. I just looked online and I saw a review, a couple of reviews on it. And I was like, okay, this looks like this could be the color for me. So let's here see. is the packaging and let's see. I'm gonna just. So here's what it looks like. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. That's really pretty. This is probably something I would want as a bronzer. Nothing that is going to, that's still gonna add some warmth to the skin. So there it is. I really like that. That's really pretty. And it's so creamy too. All right, next for a powder bronzer, because I'm, let me tell you guys, I have always been a cream and then powder girl since my MAC days. And I love to do like a liquid first and then follow it up with a powder. So to follow up with this, with that bronzer, I did order the Sephora Matte Bronzer in the shade Ibiza. But let me tell y'all something. I was so PO'd when it came in a mail because girl, <sighs> Tell me why my bronzer broke. It broke. It it broke in the packaging. And that really pissed me off so bad because I'm like, how? I don't know if it was thrown up against my door, whatever have you, but it broke. But I'm going to make it work because you want to know why? I know how to make it work. So I'm going to still wear it. Next, I got this LYS. This is the higher standard um the satin matte cream blush set first of all these colors are so freaking pretty i have empower unforgettable and grateful um so it shows you on the back they are mini blushes i want to say i've always wanted to try out their cream blushes and this entire set is twenty dollars so why not um i've heard like i said i've heard great things about them and i do have um different color powders that I can put on top of these so I cannot wait. Something else I got, I love a brown lip liner. Max Cork and Chestnut will always be dear to me. Um, KKW's lip liner that I have of hers, I think it's 2.0. I'm holding on to that one so much because I know that's done. I love also, um, NYX Nutmeg, that's one of my absolute favorite ones too. So I had heard about the Makeup Forever, the Artist Color Pencil, and I got this one in, what shade is this? Limitless Brown. I have always heard good things about this one. So, um, and this is pretty much just a neutral brown color. Um, so pretty, I cannot wait to swatch it up. I think this one is kind of right there along the line of Max Chestnut. Um, I heard this is really long lasting, so I, I really hope that it is. I also got two of the, I love a lip gloss. So I got two of the Fenty Beauty uh, Gloss Balm Creams. I have Fenty Glow, which is this really pretty, like creamy, kind of terracotta color. And then I got Mauve Wives, which I think I heard this was like maybe Scissor's uh, signature color, really pretty lilac color. 
Now, I could not have gone shopping without getting something for my girl, Pat. So I got her um, the lip gloss set and I have Faux Real and Wicked Whisper. I love Pat McGrath's products. I will always <laughs> be loyal to her brand. Um, it just always gives. I have not had a product from her that just does not work. So her glosses are everything. I was low on one of my faux reels. So I got this set. Um, I cannot wait to toss this in my purse. And now I did pick up a few powders. I did get the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. This is in the shade Toffee. I heard about this, I think on TikTok. And um, when I first saw this, this literally took me back to Max Mineralized Skin Finish. I wore this out. This was always a whole, not this one, but the Max Mineralized Skin Finish, the old school one, not the new school one. The old school one was my holy grail. When I saw this one, this just kind of took me back to like, is this, is this her sis? Is this her long lost cousin? I cannot wait to uh, try this out to see. I've seen pictures, I've seen videos of it, how smooth and filtered effect that it gives to the skin after foundation has been applied. So I can't wait to try it out myself. The Charlotte Tilbury's. I got a mini one of it and it is the Flawless Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. I did get it in the number three. Um, I have the number four for all over my face, but I wanted to get one to um, highlight under my eye. I was stuck between number two and number three. Number two just looks super -de duper light. And I didn't want anything too, too light, but I didn't want anything that was close to my skin tone as well too. So I ended up getting number three. Let's see what this one looks like. Okay, this isn't bad. Yeah, I could work with this. I could definitely work with this up under my eyes. Let's see what it looks like. That's not bad. We can, we can make it shake something with this one. Now, I cannot leave Sephora's website without giving me some smell good. So I got two of these. The first one is Valentino's um, Donna, Born in Roma, and this is Coral Fantasy. Um, this was a blind buy for me. Um, I did get the spray of this. Um, let me see if I can open it. This is not anything that I'm reaching for at all <laughs> for this winter um, because this is a spring and summer scent. It smells good. It has, I don't know why I smell like, it's really fresh, um, very, a little fruity and floral. Um, I think this is going to be really nice for the springtime and summertime. I will not wear this now, like I said. Um, I don't. Maybe it's just my nose, but for the colder months, I like to lean towards something more on the warm and cozy. Next, I picked up the Nest. This is the Madagascar Vanilla. This is the perfume oil. I've heard so many things about this uh, fragrance oil. I actually end up ordering the big size of it after I smell this, like once it came, this smells so yummy. And this right here smells so good. And I know that it's going to go so well layering with so many other different fragrances. It smells absolutely delicious. Like another one of the things I love to use, um, when I get ready to check out is my points. I do not, and samples. I always get perfume samples. So the perfume samples that I got was, the first one is Angel Share by Killian. And I heard a lot of people talk about this. I've seen so many reviews on it. This smells really <laughs> sexy. 
Killian's uh, fragrance is the only ones that I really like is Love Don't Be Shy and Killian's Princess. So I have never really um, ventured off into the other fragrances. My boyfriend wears Black Phantom. That one smells good. So this, this smells really, really good. I cannot wait to try this out. If you guys have this, um, let me know what you guys layer with this. Um, Cause the notes in this is cognac, tonka bean, oak wood. I love tonka bean. Um, so can't wait to really try this one on out. And another one that I got was the Tom Ford Oud Wood. Me and Ood's kind of have a love-hate relationship. It just really depends on my mood to be in the mood for Ood. Um, this one smells kind of spicy. This one smells very masculine. I'm probably going to give this to my boyfriend to see if he really likes it. It doesn't smell bad. I just know it's not meant for me. Points on two things. The first one was for this YSL Libre. And this is the Le Parfum. I have the original YSL Libre. And girl, that one is one of my absolute favorites because it just... It smells so good and fresh. And when I wear it, I feel so sexy. So here's the bottle. And it's just one of those little twist tops. Let me not make a mess because I'm gonna be really hot if I spill this stuff everywhere. Mm. This one, it does not have the strong lavender notes in the beginning of it, but it still smells super sexy, super sexy. And last but not least, I snagged on this. This is the La Mer um, Skin, uh, let's see, the Essentials Skincare Set. Listen, I have always wanted to try this out, but I know it's very important to invest in your skincare. I do. I know it because I preach it all the time. But baby, when a small size like this of skincare is $150, I just, I, I don't know. I really don't know. So when I saw that I could use my points on this one, it's like 500 points. So what it comes with is the new treatment lotion. I think this is like a toner. And then it has the concentrate, which I think is like a, maybe like a moisturizer. Only has some SPF in it. And then you have the cream and then the eye concentrate, which I think honestly, um, when it comes down to skincare, period, I preach this all the time. You need to have a good cleanser, a good moisturizer, a good toner, and it doesn't help, it doesn't hurt for you to have a good eye cream as well, too. So I'm excited to try these out. Um, I'm gonna give it a try to see if this works for me. If not, I will stick to my fancy skincare, and I'm cool with that because I'm good that I can use 500 points rather than paying $500 for this. So yeah, and that pretty much sums up all of the goodies that I got from Sephora. If you guys have been shopping on Sephora, let me know what you guys have gotten. Leave that down below. Let's chat up in the comment section. And yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you guys to my old subscribers. What's up, fam? Thank y'all so much for holding me down for my new ones. Girl, come on, join the fam. Yeah, and until next time, bye, guys.